In this quick demonstration, I'll show you two examples on how to sketch a cubic function using transformations. The transformation of a function includes the shifting, stretching, and reflecting of their graph. In the examples shown here, we'll be focusing on shifting up and down, left and right. Let's get started with question number one. In question number one, they're asking us to use y is equal to x to the power of 3 as shown to sketch y is equal to x plus 4 to the power of 3 minus 7. Now let's start off by looking at what we know and it's important that you memorize this. If you have a plus 4 here, this suggests that you have to shift every point along the curve to the left. And in this case, it would be by 4 units. So this point right here would be shifted here any point along here, let's say this one, will be shifted here and so on. So our graph would begin to look like this. Next, what we'll need to consider is this minus 7. Now take a look at this. If you have a minus c, a minus constant, you have to shift the whole function down by that number. Now in our case, it's minus 7, so every point along this curve will be shifted downwards. But given the fact that our graph, our y and our x, don't extend beyond 4 and 6, you can kind of get the idea that this would go down 7 units. So right now it's at around 6.5, it would be right here. And this one is exactly at 0, and it would go beyond the scope of what you can see here. Now a final version of this graph would look like this. Notice that this red curve represents x to the power of 3, and that it, every point along this red curve has been shifted 4 units to the left, and every point on this curve has been shifted downwards by minus 7, giving you the final curve. Let's move on to question number 2. In question number 2, they're asking us the same thing, but for a different function. This time our function is x plus 2 to the power of 3 minus 4. Now this plus 2 suggests that once again you'll be shifting every point to the left, and this minus 4 suggests that you'll be shifting every point downwards by 4. So let's see if we can represent that in this curve. This curve right here represents x to the power of 3. We're going to shift to the left, so this point right here becomes minus 2. This point right here becomes negative 1. This point right here becomes negative 3. And you end up with a curve like this. Now this is only taking into account the left and the right shift. Next, the minus 4. Every point will be going down by minus 4. This point, which is currently at 1, will be going down to 3. This point, which is currently at 0, y is equal to 0, will go down to negative 4. This point, which is currently at negative 1, will go down to negative 5. And you end up with a curve that looks like this. Now, if we were to plot this function using a graphing calculator, it would look like this. Notice that this green line right here represents the new function, and this red curve right here represents x to the power of 3. And notice the similarities between what you did and the graphing software. So there you have it. Those are two examples on how to perform transformations for cubic functions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.